What is going on everyone? This is your favorite tech channel. The new HTC 10 device was announced and so I kind of wanted to take advantage of this beautiful day and come outside and give you guys a quick little thoughts or opinion video on what I thought of the new flagship. So let's get one thing straight. Uh, I want HTC to succeed. I love the brand. I always loved their phones from the very beginning and I really want to see them do good and kind of bounce back, especially with the amazing stuff they're doing with their VR headsets. And that being said, I also, even before looking at what the new device has to offer, I was on there pre-ordering that phone right away because I wanted to be, you know, one of the first people to get it because I'm not cool enough, you know, I'm just regular old, you know, Joe Schmo sitting, you know, on a red chair in some field. Um, I wasn't able to get it pre-announcement because I'm not that special. I even tried to, you know, bribe them a little bit. Yeah, I don't think that worked, but um, I want them to succeed and I'm looking forward to getting this phone and hopefully I'll get it as soon as possible and you guys will get a review. But that being said, the phone is gonna come as, as we've come to expect from HTC. All metal and now it has this big chamfered edger on the side which in the beginning I thought was gonna look atrocious but now I'm starting to warm up to it a little bit as uh, I see more and more pictures of the device. It's going to have four gigabytes of RAM which is awesome. It's gonna have the Qualcomm 820 chip which should get it through like anything you're gonna throw at it. Um, it's gonna be blazing fast. And according to some of the results that we've seen, it's actually the fastest device out right now, which is great because it speaks to HTC's ability to kind of streamline the process. And I'll discuss that in a little bit. Other than that, we're gonna get 3000 milliamp battery with quick charge 3.0. And HTC execs say that this battery is gonna last you two days. Now. I'm taking this with a grain of salt because other manufacturers such as Sony claim that their batteries, which is around the same size, can last two days and they have their stamina mode and ultra stamina mode similar to Boost Plus that we haven't tested yet. And so I'm really taking this with a grain of salt because the Xperia Z5 lasts nowhere even near one day, let alone two. So that's cool. Now, once you're able to finally deplete the battery, it comes with quick charge 3.0 so execs from HTC say that you're able to charge it up to you know a full day's worth within 30 minutes which is cool awesome other than that HTC has went ahead and revamped their sense UI because they said that they're listening to customers and customers apparently want a more stock like experience and so what they did was eliminate a lot of the bloatware so the common example that we'll see is that for example if you have the Google gallery, which is called Photos, and then you have the HTC gallery app. Why, would you, why are you having two of the same things? So what they did was eliminate a lot of the duplicate apps and they just kept the Google ones to eliminate the bloatware and make the device run more efficient and streamline everything, which is great, that's awesome. There's a problem though. What if some people don't wanna use the Google apps? So I think in my mind, in my opinion, it would have been better if they were included, but given the ability to uninstall them. Because me personally, I don't wanna use Google Photos. I'd rather use the native gallery app. But now I have no choice and I have to use Google Photos, which it sounds nitpicky, but I don't know. It's, we're just, we have a hard time pleasing everybody. But I think Android, one of the core principles or the objectives and the culture of Android is that you can customize it to how you like it. But when you do things without giving the customer an option, it's a little bit iffy. Now, as far as internal storage, we're getting 32 gigabytes along with the ability to expand via SD card, which is great, always preferred. Now, the two things that I think are the most compelling features of this phone are gonna be the camera system and the audio system. Starting off with the cameras, we're gonna be getting 12 megapixels of the ultra pixel variety on the back, along with optical image stabilization, laser autofocus, and of course the ability to shoot 4K since we have 12 megapixels to play with. This time, 
HTC has went ahead and bumped up the megapixel count of the Ultra Pixel. I, this probably sounds like crazy, but bear with me. So now you're able to get more light in, just like what the S7 has done in a way, and specifically like what the Nexus 6P has done by allowing larger pixels. I believe it's 1.55 microns or something like that. That's awesome. Now on the front, they also included something which is a first of its kind. They also put optical image stabilization on the front camera, which is five megapixels. So now you're able to have less shake whenever you're recording a video or if you vlog a lot or anything like that. So that's cool. Now moving on to the last thing, I think is the most, um, the most desired or the most breakthrough or standout feature of this phone, which is the audio. So HTC was always known to have these amazing speakers on the front. This time, since they have a really quick fingerprint on the front, um, which by the way is centered really weird, but I understand that's probably because of whatever's underneath and engineers just had to do it that way. Regardless, there are no two speakers on the front anymore. So what they did, they kept the top one a, uh, a speaker and they put the other speaker on the bottom of the device, similar to iPhones and Galaxy phones. So what they tried to do over here, which is kind of neat in a way because they want to include the fingerprint. So they're kind of adjusting and, you know, trying to meet people's demand while, you know, keeping everybody happy. So they made both of them work in unison or in conjunction to kind of still give you that stereo sound. So one of them actually has a tweeter and the other one actually acts like a subwoofer to kind of give you that immersive experience that we've always come to expect from HTC. Apart from that, it has a built-in digital audio converter, commonly referred to as a DAC, and it is of the 24-bit variety. So for all the people who want the best audio, and especially the best quality in their headphones, whether you're listening to music or watching videos or movies or whatever, or watching this on YouTube, you're gonna truly appreciate this phone for those capabilities. So you're getting all this for $699. Pre-orders are live right now and you're able to get them early May when they start shipping and you're getting it in gold, silver, or the black charcoal, which is the one that I ordered along with my case. So what is the point of this entire video? Well, I wanted to just talk to you guys a little bit because I wanted to share my opinion. Maybe you guys agree or maybe you disagree, but I wanted to just separate and point one thing out. Um, I don't want anybody to get lost in all of this hype. Now, believe me, I want HTC to succeed as a lot of other people do, but there are two scenarios or two situations which you clearly have to separate. The first scenario is if as a manufacturer, you're introducing all this new tech that's innovative and breakthrough and like, a like for example, when Sony started making their phones waterproof, that was like, wow, what a fantastic idea. And now you're starting to see a lot of people do the same thing. That's a cool breakthrough. When you're doing this stuff, that's one thing on its own. But when the other situation arises, when you're constantly lagging back over and over and over again, you're being left behind and then you finally catch up. And then you start making it as if you have just cured cancer and you know just made the biggest breakthrough ever there's an issue with that the issue is that we've come to expect these things i will say the one thing where they are really kind of break making a you know an improvement and kind of pushing along is in the audio department so i really think this htc 10 device is very appealing to people who are you know very into their audio but other than that please don't use all this fancy jargon you know, in your promotional videos as if this is the best thing ever. I mean, take a look. And I've got to tell you, we've absolutely nailed it. And I'm pleased to tell you that we've absolutely killed it. You're gonna be amazed just how good this phone is. We set out to make the best camera out there in the marketplace. I'm pleased to tell you, we've done it. Best in class camera experience. This phone is awesome. I don't know, you, released a, a battery that you're touting as going to last two days, but who knows, that might not be the case as we've seen with other manufacturers. So you're not even there in that department. When you've released a phone that finally, maybe, has a good camera experience, 
don't say this is revolutionary because we've come to expect it from other devices like Galaxy S7 and the LG G5 and other devices out there. When you're making a phone that is in 2016 but doesn't have waterproofing, it doesn't have wireless charging, it doesn't have two front-facing speakers anymore, which is something that was your signature. I mean, other manufacturers have kept the fingerprint sensor along with two front-facing speakers like the Sony. They found a way to make it work. I don't understand why other companies cannot um, do this, but you know, like I said, this is not breakthrough um, at all. And it's, it's just strange to me. So I think a lot of us have to realize this and not get caught in the hype and you know, realize this is what we've become to accept. So you know, this is standard stuff. Don't make it seem like, as if it's the best thing ever. Anyway, I'm looking forward to getting the device in the mail. Uh, I hope I'm wrong. I hope this phone is really great and I'm, you know, I was wrong about everything else. And I want you guys to let me know also in the comment section below after you like and subscribe. But let me know what you think. I'm, I'm actually curious to see what you guys think and if I'm wrong, like point it out to me. But I'm just telling you, as of this morning, I just felt, wow, that was a really lackluster. Um, I even tweeted that. Um, announcement i just didn't see whatever was special the main thing i thought that was compelling about this device and something that really sets it apart from other ones is the audio experience other than that it's just standard um but anyway you know i hope i'm wrong and let me know what you guys think and once i get it i'll give you guys a proper review and until next time i'll see you guys take care Back, but they're giving you 12 megapixels of the ultra pixel variety and uh, <clears throat> can you like go away have you no respect for people doing videos for YouTube like get your American airline route out of here anyway